Hi friends, Sammy with Happily Hooked. So we are back with a new, I'm gonna say review, but it's also gonna be like a first look, testing it out, see what happens kind of thing. So I found this um, Comfort Twist Knitting Mill. So apparently this is supposed to make making like eye cords and straps and things like that easier. We will see. I don't know. I have not opened this yet, but um, this is made by the same company that made, uh, I think I have them here, these crochet hooks that I just did a review on, these prim hooks. So it's the same company, but this was only, I think, $25 on Amazon. Um, so I'm interested because I hate knitting eye cord, like I hate it, and I don't like crocheting eye cords if they have to be super long. I just lose patience and I lose any kind of drive to make it. So I have a ton of bags with no straps. So we're going to see what happens. Um, like I said, I have not used this yet, so I do not even know how it works. Um, the instructions look pretty easy. It looks like I can attach it to my desk, which will be helpful for us. Um, and it says full instructions included. So we will find out and see what happens, but I'm excited. If this works fantastic, then it will make our lives easier. If not, I guess we're gonna stick with crocheting or knitting eye cords. So I'm gonna open it up and see what happens. Hi friends, real quick. When you click the link below and join Happily Hooked today, not only are you gaining access to the coolest crochet community on the internet, you're also going to get these ergonomic hooks that I use every single day and this project bag that I am obsessed with. So make sure you click the link below, subscribe today, and I cannot wait to see you in the community. All right, so we are going to open this up and check it out. So it's the Prim Comfort Twist Knitting Mill. So this is what everybody told me to get to do eye cords for like bags and stuff. So I don't know. We will check it out. Oh, that's cool. It's purple. Fun. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. That's the little weight I'm assuming for it. So it can be turned either direction for right or left-handed use. So that's pretty cool. And apparently this, oh, that's cool. It can be stored on the bottom. So if you... Um, weight is removed by grasping the weight and tipping the weight to one side. I'm not seeing that, but it is pinching me. Oh, there we go. Okay. It was just a little tricky. So this is the clamp for your desk so we are going to put it on the desk and then it says picking the right weight yarn is important yarn should be zero to three that is ideal and smooth not thick or fuzzy all right well i will see what i can find so let's keep going oh it is a whole pamphlet sweet so let's pull this see if we can get it I don't know if we will be able to get it to the edge. Might have to move my camera a little bit. Okay, so we have some of this Oh Baby Organic um, Lion Brand yarn. This is a two weight yarn. So that's what we're gonna use. It's very thin. It's not fuzzy. So we're gonna see how it goes. So loop end through outside hooks. Got it. And then thread it with a tapestry needle. Down through the middle. Did it. All right, and there's latches on these hooks. I don't know if you can see them. I'll show them to you when we get done. Um, 
but there's latches on these hooks so we got to make sure they're all down and then it says to start Okay, so it says to let it loop on the first hook, skip the second, place yarn in third hook, turning slowly, which we're doing, skip the fourth, and now do a whole, oh, I think I messed it up. That's okay. So, got to keep tension on it. I wasn't doing that. So, do the first one, skip the second one, do the third one, skip the fourth one, and now just keep going, it says. So, we're just going to keep going. And then it says tie weight to yarn end. I don't know how to do that, but we're going to tie weight to yarn end. So it looks like in the picture, it doesn't tell you how to do this. There is no, there is no picture on this. So I put a tapestry needle, we're gonna go through the bottom And around this one and then back up through ah. so it kind of loops like this around it and then I'm gonna tie a knot is it gonna work I don't know I put a pretty long tail so that way if I have to cut it I can and now I'm just gonna hold the tension and see it looks like it's just unraveling not in the good way yep I don't think that's accurate because it's not coming through the middle so now that we've done the typical Sam test run I'm gonna take it apart watch a video and figure out how to do this okay so bad news I've watched four videos, I have tried three different yarn sizes, and it's not doing what it's supposed to. It keeps jumping off. I just switched, so I even tried like a Red Heart yarn. I know it's a four, but I thought maybe it needed more weight. I'm using, this is a two, Beautiful You by Lion Brand. It's smooth, um, and it's just not working. I was doing it right but like it keeps jumping off. And like it's trying. And like we get a couple good rows, but it keeps dropping stitches. So I don't know if this is just a bad one. Um, but I, I mean, I followed the instructions like it said to. I watched videos to make sure I was doing it right. I had them going through here. It said to apply more tension if I needed to. I tried going left. I tried going right. Um, and then it's got, so it's got these little latches. And the latches come up over the yarn. And so when it goes down, they close. And then the other loop is supposed to come off of it. Kind of like the big knitting machines, but it's not doing that. Um, like the yarn is getting stuck. It's, it's just not doing what it's supposed to. Um, so does it work? Probably. It probably would work. But for like yarn that you have on hand, I don't want to have to go out and buy like one specific brand of yarn. And it doesn't even say what to use. And like the yarn in the picture is just like a basic 
twisted yarn, it's fine, but it's not like a regular yarn, and that's what I was using, and it's just not working right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, have you guys worked with one of these before? Like, I've got my knitting machine, that one took me a little bit, but I figured it out. I'm gonna try and keep working with this, but I just, and it runs smooth. Like, there's no problem with how it runs here. I just don't understand why it's not working normal. I don't know. It's gonna leave this here. And for right now, I'm going to say no. I wouldn't spend the money on it. It's not very expensive, um, but I still wouldn't spend the money on it because I just don't understand why it's not working properly. And this might not be, like, this might be a dud. This might be a bad one. But I don't really want to go buy another one. So <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, if you guys have used one of these before and know, like, some crazy random trick, let me know. I followed the instructions. Like I said, I watched videos on it. Um, it's just not working right. So, yeah, I'm gonna say no. I will just continue to crochet or knit my eye cords for now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope y'all liked this video. I'm sorry that this was not a good one. I think this is one of the, I think we only have a couple, maybe a handful of products that haven't worked out right, and this is one of them. So, we might do a part two if I can figure out how to make it work, but until then, no. I say no. Um, yeah, so I hope you'll have a great day, and I will see you in the next video, and I'm sorry this didn't end on a happy note. Bye!